What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition? Who knows? We're almost done with this thing, right? I don't know. So, in our last episode, we went through the ice path pretty quickly. You know, did a little, uh, a little explaining on that stuff, and uh, we got to Blackthorn City. Now, off screen, yes, I did a little bit of training. I ran into Entei again, not Raikou. I don't know why. I don't know. I really don't know why. But, as you guys can see, my Pokemon are nice and leveled. Ready to go. And, well, as you guys can see right here, uh, some Pokemon learned some new moves. As you can see, Lucky learned Earthquake. So this is a big, big move that we can actually, uh... It will actually help us. We're gonna keep the Quick Law on him because this battle right here is gonna get a little tough, especially when it has Ice Punch. And then you got Steelix. Still has the same moves and all that crud. We're gonna keep the experience here on it since it's, it is pretty tough to battle or to train. You got Chico. We did change Reflect for Light Screen because I do feel as though that we do get more. We, we do get attacked more by by what you call it by uh, by special attacks and anything on Chico. So might as well keep that on them. And then we got Toga Free right here, still at, you know, everything else in between and all that stuff. And look at that, all my Pokemon are nice and ready to go. We are going to be going into the Dragon, uh, the Dragon Gym right here. This place is going to be pretty intense now. Let's see, if we go right here, you talk to this lady. Clan of trainers who f can freely command dragons live right here in Blackthorn. As a result, there are many stories about dragon in this town. Okay, so there is a place right here that, you know, was established in Pokemon in Generation 2, and that is the Move Deleter. Now, you talk to this guy, he will actually delete any move, and I mean any move. We're talking about HM moves as well. It was such an inconvenience, they put that guy in there, and in, in the remakes you'll see the Move Rememberer or Move Learner and all that stuff. Now, if you talk to this girl... Dragonair's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have a Dragonair who's a female? Who want to trade it for a Dodrio? Yeah, that's not... That's not a really good trade. But then again, Dodrio is a pretty good Pokemon itself. But then again, Dragonair females are hard to come by and all that crud. So anywho, uh, let's go right ahead and take on the gym leader right here. Talk to this guy. Claire, our gym leader, is waiting for you. However... It would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. Okay, I don't even know what that means, but I'm flipping you off, man. Okay, so here we are at the final gym, and... Yo, champ in the making! It's been a long journey, but we are almost done. Count on me. Claire uses the mythical and sacred Pokemon, or dragon Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily, but you know, they're supposed to be weak against Ice-type moves. They are. Now... I just realized something. Thank you for remembering or uh, reminding me. We do have icy wind, and somebody can learn it, I guess. No, nobody can learn it. Okay, icy wind could have uh, could have helped us out and all that stuff. So here we go. We're gonna be battling your first battle against dragons. I'll show you how tough they are. Not really my first battle, but yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're taking on Cool Trainer Paul, and he's coming out with his Dratini. And, uh, well, here we have Fluffold. Now, as many of you guys already know, Dragon types. Very, very hard to come by, very difficult to defeat, especially in Generation 2. It's not like in Generation 8 and 9 where, you know, you can easily beat them with a Fairy type. But in Generation 2, Two ways to defeat them, a Dragon-type Pokemon or an Ice-type Pokemon, and as you can see, they like to use every single elemental move, and Dragon Rage is a very, very powerful move that can wipe me out in like three moves. So yeah, here we go, Strength Attack, bam, okay, so as you guys can see, yeah, we're experiencing that, that, that whole thing right there, so... That's their, that's their first Pokemon. So let's go straight to Lucky right here. This is going to be the Lucky Show. Featuring Lucky, the Fluff, or not Lucky, the uh, the Quagsire. And I gotta say, I gotta say this. Yeah, we've, uh, we, we've been sleeping on Lucky for a long, long time. It is very apparent on all our walkthroughs. 
And I'm actually glad that Lucky's getting its shine right here and all eight badges and all that crud. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so sad that I have to see him go because that's the next Pokemon I'm going to be replacing. You guys probably have an idea where I'm going with this. Dratini! Eat that ice punch, and thankfully we do have that uh, that quick that quick claw, so it's gonna be working for us right there. And uh, well, cool trader Paul has been defeated. My dragon Pokemon lost. Yes, they did. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to heal up our Pokemon right here. So let's go, Fluffolt. Good God, man. So one thing you have to know about pure pure dragon type Pokemon is that they are very very immune. To any kind of elemental Pokemon that is, you know, grass, water, and uh, grass, water, fire, and electric. And they, these trainers are going to have Pokemon that, you know, are not specifically Dragon type Pokemon, but can learn Dragon type moves. That that being Horsey or Seedra. And there you go. Boulder has fallen through. That is the only... Well, that's probably not the only place we have to put... Yeah, okay. So, yeah. We have to put more boulders away. And I can't allow a nameless trainer past me. Claire would, uh, would be livid if I did. You know what? Who cares what Claire thinks? <laughs> so, here we go. Taking on a friend. And she's coming out with her Seedra. And it's probably a good thing that, you know... I did this. Look at that, Fluffold. How's it going? Let's go with a Thunder Punch, and yeah, they do that too. So, we have to be very, very careful with the Pokemon that we choose when we're going up against Claire, and there we go, Seedra defeated with one Thunder Punch, and Serpentera grows to level 40, and it's trying to learn Slam, and yeah, let's see what kind of moves do I have. Uh, yeah. Definitely not going to take away Screech. That's a move that we definitely need on this one right here. And Fran has been defeated. Yeah, you lost. To the Nameless Trainer. I probably should have named myself Nameless. And, oh. Buckets. Okay, so let's see. Go right here. We're going to battle this guy anyways. My chance of losing? Not even 1%. You gotta, you gotta give it to these guys. They are cocky. Very cocky. And, yes, we're going to be taking on Dragonair. And here comes the Fluff Volt. Alrighty, Fluff Volt. Yeah, let's go with the Thunder Wave right here. Yeah, let's, let's pay them back for what they did to us, because that's probably what they're going to do to us. Look at that. Told you. Okay, so that's the case. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Thankfully, Lucky is immune to all this stuff, so eat it. Eat it, Dragonair. You can't use Thunder Wave on me, but you can do that. Yeah. And there's those 40 HPs. Let's go with a, th a nice punch. And just like that, Dragonair has been uh, it's getting decimated right here. Now, if I could, if I could remember something from like back in the day, like when I was a kid, I I would always go with like Thunder Punches or Thunder Moves, just because, well. I thought it would be powerful enough to defeat Dragon-type Pokemon, but clearly they're more immune than that on the, on the electric type, so yeah. It shows me something, and Mike has been defeated. He's like, that's odd. Yeah, it's not very odd, man. Let's see. I know my shortcomings now. Thanks for showing me. Your shortcomings is you kind of judge me ahead of schedule, so that's what you get. That's what you get, you little a-hole. So we're going to use Flood Volt right here. And we're going to be pushing this right here. And uh, mind you, this is the only gym, well, gym ever that will need, like, a, a strength technique or anything like that. And as you guys can see, bam, that clears out two spots right there. And yes, we are in the, we are in the clear to go. So what's going to happen here is we're going to use another full heal onto this guy. And use Super Potion onto that guy. Alrighty. So, let's go right here. It's not as if we all use Dragon type Pokemon. I noticed. I really, really noticed. 
So here it is, guys. Cool trainer Cody wants to battle, and he's coming out with his horsey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you, you did not surprise me with any of that stuff. So let's go with a thunder punch right here. Yeah, we've been prepared for you. You're sweet and sour, you know what? And there we go. We're getting some uh, more HP right there, or more experience points. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Seedra. Definitely not a Pokemon that I should be worried about. And there you go, Seedra. How's it going? Thunder Punch. Time to eat it. And there you go. <laughs> that is definitely how you win it. And, bam. Oh, wow. Okay. And, well, let's see. Yes, we have defeated rats. If only I had a dragon. Well, if you had one specific dragon, then, you know, it would have worked. But, no. There you go. So, the boulder fell, the boulder fell through. And this takes us right here. And as you guys can see, the path has opened up for us. Let's go right ahead and take on one last trainer. Dragons are sacred Pokemon. They are full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, here we go, taking on cool trainer Lola. And Lola right here, coming out with her Dratini. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with a different one. Let's go with Togepi. I doubt this Pokemon has anything more than a Thunder Wave. And I was correct. This is their strategy right here. They just like to paralyze you and all that crud. So let's go with a metronome, Dragon Rage. And there you go. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're, we're getting we're getting our butts kicked right here. Acid Armor. That will increase our defense by a lot. So let's go again with another Dragon Rage. There's no way, yeah. Yeah, so Togepi, you're gonna get your butt kicked right here. And here comes a Shadow Ball. That... Yes, its special defense has gone down. That's an opening right there. I don't have a full restore, so let's go with a Hyper Potion right here. Okay. Let's go. Dragon Rage again. We're gonna get... Yeah. We're gonna get hit. If unless we have, like, one full restore or anything like that. Alright. Uh, Shadow Ball again. Dragon Rage. Yes, it's a very, very powerful move right here in this stage. And... And we're fully paralyzed. Screw you, Dragonair. Okay. Let's go with Lucky. It does have that one thing that Dragon or Dratini can't do. And here comes a Dragon Rage. Okay. Yeah, we're making it hard on ourselves right here. So let's go straight for a nice punch. Yeah, I get it. You're faster than me, but I'm stronger, and that right there hits us harder than anything, and that defeats Dratini. Has a field to fail. Okay, and Fluffle grows to level 42, trying to learn Light Screen, and well, let's see. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We need Thunder Wave. We really do need Thunder Wave, and well... Serpentera, everybody's getting points. We have a Dragonair coming in. Let's go right ahead and take on this Dragonair. We are perfectly immune to any kind of Thunder-based attacks right here, so let's go right ahead and use another Full Restore. Or no, not a Full Restore, a Hybrid Potion. And there we go. Lucky has been recovered. And here comes more Dragon Ranges. Come on, Quick Claw. Kick in. Come on. There we go. Ice Punch. There we go. Quick Claw has kicked in. And just like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, never mind. Okay. I see what you're doing, and it's getting on my tits. There we go. One more Dragon Rage. And we're, it's going to leave us with 8 HP right here. There we go. Ice Punch for the win. Suck on those lemons. Alrighty. And there we go. So that was a good battle. Way to go. Yeah, she was motivating me and all that stuff. Okay, what do you have to say? Dragons are weak against dragon type moves. Yeah. We already knew this. We're like very, very seasoned in all that stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. 
This is going to be a very, 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 very tough battle. In a sense that, you know, you have to use a lot of strategy and a lot of type disadvantages and all that stuff. Because going into this battle right here, uh, Claire is going to be introducing a new Pokemon that you've never seen before. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Where's the full, where's the full heals? There you are. All right, let's go ahead and give that to Togepri. So, what's going to happen right here is we're going to go start off with Lucky because we're trying to prevent any kind of, uh, any trying to, any kind of paralysis right here. So, let's go right in and talk to this lady. I am Claire, the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own again, even against even the Pokemon's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Sure. Fine. Let's do it. As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. Okay, so here we go, guys. Gym battle number eight. Batwoman. And, yes, she is in a very, very stingy move. So, we're going to have to put her in her place. Let's go right ahead. Let's go with Ice Punch. Okay, I really... Oh, crap, Baskets. Yeah, I completely forgot about that move. And, yes, thankfully it did not paralyze us, because that would have been very, very bad. And there we go. Almost frozen. Dragon Breath yet again. Okay. Alrighty, so we are not yet out of the woods. There we go. Dragonair has fainted. More points for Lucky right here. And Serpentera doing its thing. And Dragonair. Okay, so let's see what Serpentera can do. It has high defense. We could do something about that. And, uh, well, here comes Serpentera. How's it going, Dragonair? Hopefully you don't have any kind of water-type moves. And it's using Dragon Breath. Not so effective. And here comes a Screech attack. Crap baskets. Okay. Dig. And unfortunately, we don't have uh, the Quick Claw on Serpentera, so we're at a huge disadvantage right here. Totally giving up a lot of offense. And here comes Dragon Breath yet again. Dig Attack. And that right there nearly takes him out. Let's go with the Screech Attack. And oh, come on. Dragon Breath. Not so effective. There we go. Takes it down a notch. Alright, so it's... It's leveling is down, and again, Dragon Breath. Yeah, not so effective. And we are now paralyzed. This is something that we've been worried about. Here comes Iron Tail. And this one right here... Takes down Dragonair. Okay! So there we go. More experience points for Serpentera itself. And, well, she's about to use Kingdra. This is the Pokemon you have to be worried about, so we're going to be going with Chico right here. And, uh, we're going to be using some strategy to beat this level 40 Kingdra. Yeah. Alright. Poison powder. Damn it! Okay. Surf attack. Yeah, this is a Pokemon you do not want to mess with. And there we go. Not so effective, but is very, very powerful. Come on, Poison Powder, do me something. There we go. There's one. And here comes a Surf Attack. Even though it's using a Water-type move, it is not necessarily a Water-type Pokemon. It is actually both a Water and Dragon. Be aware of that. Let's go right ahead and use Light Screen. Just to prevent any more of these special defense and stuff. And there we go, hurt by poison. And we gotta beat this Pokemon real quick because, yeah, Flare is not, he's not gonna let this Pokemon faint real quickly. She will be using any kind of full restores or hyper potions just to come and bring it back. So there we go, not so effective, hurt by poison. There is our opening and here it comes, Body Slam. Beats it! Alrighty! Kingdra defeated! Alrighty, okay! And Serpentera grows to level 41, which is always good. Alrighty, she's about to use Dragonair. Alright, bring it on. This is your last Dragonair. I think we're cool. Let's go with Poison Powder. 
Come on! <laughs> yes, and it didn't affect Chico, so yes, we're at a standstill, so there you go. Doesn't really matter, we got the advantage with the poison powder, and oh my lord, it does have ice beam. So Chico, you've done a- oh, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, completely forgot about the light screen. Let's go ahead and put that back on. And there we go. Ice beam, you're not gonna do much. Except probably freeze us. And that right there froze us. Good gravy, okay. <laughs> We need a savior. Let's go to Lucky right here. Lucky, this is the time. This is the place. This is where you shine. And here comes an ice beam from Dragonair. And that right there hits us a little hard. Come on, Quick Law. Help me out here. Ice Punch. And here comes a slam attack. Hopefully this doesn't really hurt us. And we are back down to 20. There's some poison. Finish it off, Lucky. Ice Punch for the win. And that does it. Lucky, you have done it. Look at that. Okay. And there it is, guys. We have defeated Claire. I lost? I don't believe it. There must be a, some mistake. Yeah, there's no mistake in that. We beat you strategically. <laughs> I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon User t Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called the Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine at its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will recognize you as a trainer worthy of the badge. Wow, she... Yeah, she... she's grumpy. Very, very grumpy. But we put our Pokemon through some work. I am extremely proud about that. Oh my god. Who never thought? Raven's a very, very, very strategic Pokemon trainer, and yeah, uh, you were great to clear. All that, all that's left is the Pokemon League Challenge. Uh, you're on the way to becoming the Pokemon League Champion, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna pause it right here, guys. We need to make a few switches in order to make this thing work out. But, yeah, we did not get the final badge. Let's go ahead and take a look. Look, yeah, she won't admit defeat. So, what's going to happen is that we're going to actually have to go into the Dragon's Den to pick up some stuff. So, yes, we will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Thank you guys again for all the patience and all the views. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, right there. Links in the description. There is a heart button right there. Press that, make a donation. And if you guys want to join in on the channel and watch exclusive videos such as uh, hack walkthroughs and all that stuff, join the channel. You're more than welcome to. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See you guys.